Good evening. Turn your hymnals tonight to 119 till the storm passes by. 119. In the dark of the midnight have I oft hid my face While the storm howls above me and there's no hiding place Mid the crash of the thunder, precious Lord, hear my cry, keep me safe Till the storm passes by Till the storm passes over, till the thunder sounds no more, till the clouds roll forever from the sky. Hold me fast, let me stand in the hollow of thy hand. Keep me safe till the storm passes by. Many times Satan whispers, there is no need to try, for there's no end of sorrow, there's no hope by and by. But I know thou art with me, tomorrow I'll rise where the storm never darkens the sky. Till the storm passes over, till the thunder sounds no more, till the clouds roll forever from the sky. Hold me fast, let me stand in the hollow of thy hand. Keep me safe till the storm passes by. When the long night has ended and the storms come no more, let me stand in thy presence on that bright, peaceful shore. In that land where the tempest never comes, Lord, may I dwell with thee when the storm passes by. Is over till the thunder sounds no more, till the clouds roll forever from the sky. Hold me fast, let me stand in the hollow of thy hand. Keep me safe till the storm passes by. Amen. Welcome, welcome to the storm passes by, praise God. I'll tell you what, this old world and then heaven, praise God, for the saints of God. Amen. Amen. Brother Randy, you come up here and open us in a word of prayer, would you? Bless the heaven, Father, we do so thank you for allowing us to assemble freely here at Anchor Baptist Church tonight, Lord. Bless us our endeavor to worship you from on high. Lord, we are what we are. We Pray, Lord, that you use us mighty here at Anchor Baptist Church, Lord. We know that the gates of hell will not prevail against our church. You put your name here, and we thank you for all that you do and all that you are. Bless us now as we endeavor to worship you. Let the Holy Spirit have free reigns with our hearts and our minds. Let the pastor have a clarity of mind as he gives us the word. Bless all those and edification of the saints in here a little while. We thank you for all the answered prayer, Lord, especially Hannah. Hannah, Lord, uh, down there in Texas, Lord, not sneezing anymore. Lord, that's an answered prayer. Lord, all that we pray for, all that we are, we owe it all to you. You are everything, our rock, our star, star, our great I am. Lord, we thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' heavenly holy name we pray, amen. 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 Turn back a few pages to 114, the great physician. Amen. That goes right along with that. Amen. 114. The great physician now is near the sympathizing Jesus. 
He speaks the drooping heart to cheer. Oh, hear the voice of Jesus. Sweetest note in seraph song, sweetest name on mortal tongue, sweetest carol ever sung, Jesus, blessed Jesus, your many sins are all forgiven, oh, hear the voice of Jesus. Go on your way in peace to heaven, and wear a crown with Jesus. Sweetest note in seraph song, sweetest name on mortal tongue, sweetest carol ever sung, Jesus, blessed Jesus. All glory to the dying Lamb, I now believe in Jesus. I love the blessed Savior's name, I love the name of Jesus. Sweetest note in seraph song, sweetest name on mortal tongue, Sweetest carol ever sung, Jesus, blessed Jesus, and when to that bright world above we rise to be with Jesus, we'll sing around the throne of love, his name, the name of Jesus. Sweetest note in seraph song, sweetest name on mortal tongue, sweetest carol ever sung, Jesus, blessed Jesus. Amen. The announcements here, praise God, we got the new, improved, updated calendar, amen. <laughs> And uh, got all the birthdays on there, I think. Amen. <laughs> so get you one of those. Amen. So thank the Lord for that. And uh, look at the uh, details of the calendar uh, this week. And also, as Randy prayed there, thank God uh, uh, for the leaks. Amen. Uh, Sister Hannah, uh, they did a procedure and went down there, and, it, and she quit singing. I uh, quit singing. She quit uh, sneezing. Amen. Quit sneezing. Is she still not quite out of the woods, but a lot better than that? Uh, what it was? She been she been sneezing. Do you realize this since after Thanksgiving? And it, it was they sent a video of it. It is just unimaginable. She was getting so weak and malnourished and everything because of all that. And uh, now uh, they're on the up up road. So thank God. Keep praying for them and their needs. Uh, uh, financial and everything, amen. We may want to send them another offering uh, soon to, to help out with that. So thank God for that. Brother Kidman uh, uh, got the land approved. Lord amen. opened the door for that. So that was a miracle. Thank God for his ministry and what God's doing there. Uh, continue to pray uh, for for all of our missionaries, amen. Uh, uh, the saints down there in, in Chile and uh, special needs uh, uh, for them as they try to get the squatters off of their, huh? Oh, the squatters are gone. All right, praise God. Oh, oh. Well, amen, yeah. Yeah, thank God, thank God, amen. So that, that's the answer prayer there, amen. Pray for the Blooms ministering in New York because they can't get back to China right now and pray the Lord for help for them and safety for them as they uh, keep on ministering. So we're thankful for all that he's doing in, in the hearts and the lives of each and every one. So keep praying for all of our missionaries and, and the needs uh, back there, amen, as, as we go forward for the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're thankful for all that he does and all that he's going to do. He's not done yet. The trumpet's going to sound, so pray one for another. Pray. The Lord help us could have a Fredo with us again tonight. I mean, a miracle. Praise God. That's good. 
he looking good, amen, look at him, he looks like always, amen, thank God, so uh, they must be nursing him good, amen, the nurse and his mama, amen, so thank God, uh, or his wife, amen, uh, thank God for all that he does, so uh, pray, pray one for another about that, amen, so let's see, I think that covers uh, pretty much, just praise his holy name. Man, Sunday night testimony time again. Who has a testimony tonight? Amen. I just want to thank God for my salvation, as always. <clears throat> thank God for the great message that we've been hearing in church. This morning was an awesome message on, on how we should be and... and and just uh, trusting in God and, and uh, hearing about, you know, the our heritage, you know, where, where Christianity began and, yep. and uh, the encouragement and the admonition of the message this morning. It's a challenge to all of us. I know every day when I get up, I, I often don't think right away, am I being the Christian that I ought to be? Am I looking at them divine appointments? And there's often times that I wonder... As uh, has been testified before, I know uh, I'm with Brother Steve when, uh, when you uh, have that, that divine appointment come and pass you by and you, see, you notice it after the fact. And, and you just hope and pray that God would give you another opportunity with that individual. Hopefully it would be someone that, uh, that you work with or someone that you see on a regular basis. But uh, it's just an encouragement to me. God has been good to our family despite our aches and pains and and things that we normally whine about, we always find something, I guess. But God always loves us and blesses us. And uh, it didn't occur to me until recently uh, I received something in the mail from my company. I, this month I uh, uh, have my 15th anniversary with Lockheed Martin. So um, that's, that's just a blessing and, and as far as consistency and, and, uh, and just having that, that job there. And, and God blessed me with that. Uh, when I retired from the military, and it's just been been a great blessing to my family and I. And uh, I just thank God for for all that He gives and does for us. Um, just uh, He's such a loving God, and I thank Him for that. Amen. Yeah. I'm getting a 10 year ring for being out there at my work, but I've been doing it for 18. I don't know how that adds up. <laughs> Who else has a testimony? First few years didn't count. I thank the Lord for my salvation, and I thank you guys all for your prayers, and I'm just real thankful that he's been helping us in this time of of trouble, but consider it all joy and know that he got it all under control, so I'm thankful, and I love the Lord my God. Amen. 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 Anybody else? I thank the Lord for my salvation and the things that God is always doing to us. Sometimes we ignore it or we, you know, we don't really give thanks to the Lord for that. And I just thank you that, uh, you know, everything we need is there already. That's what my brother Travis, uh, Randy said <laughs> this morning, <laughs> we are not thankful. No. But we need to be thankful for everything we do because God is the one giving us the strength every day. You know that. And sometimes we complain, but we keep complaining. Pretty soon we're going to be like the Israelite. Everything is there already. We just need to, you know, to get it, but we keep complaining of this, of that. That's why sometimes I told Grace, in the Philippines, if you want to eat chicken, go ahead, cheese that chicken so you can eat chicken. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you want to eat fish, you go to the fish pan and get it. <laughs> but here, everything is there. You just grab it and cook it. But we still complain for that. And I thank the Lord also for Alfredo. Uh, even though he give me a hard time sometimes, <laughs> I think 
you know, it's the sickness or the disease that he has. But I thank the Lord for that also. And only God knows what's going on in him. But I remember the message of Miss Sorn before when we attend the service in their place. He said, that's not him. That's the devil. He's just using your husband or your friend or your daughter or your son. And sometimes it's true. <laughs> sometimes I said, okay, devil, you're not going to win. <laughs> you know, it's so... God is good for everything, and I just want to share with you the message this morning. We are a Christian. How we can see we are Christian if Christ is not in us? You know? Because the word Christian, Christ, I am nothing. See, if you are said you are a Christian, but Christ is not there, you're nothing. You're you, right. you, God knows. Amen. Amen. I'm always thankful for my salvation, and I'm always thankful that every day Jesus is doing something, or the Holy Spirit is doing something new in my life, you know. I mean, just praise his name. But I want to share a quick story. I went to a funeral this week, and, and the pastor alluded to it this morning, that, that he's been there when people have passed away that didn't know Jesus and had been there when he passed when he passed away that they did know Jesus. Well, the testimony this week was her son gave a testimony of her when she, her last days and and uh, he said they prayed with her, you know, about 5 days earlier. She was she was a believer, of course, and but they prayed with her about 4 days earlier and and after that time when they prayed with the family, all the family was there, she kind of just went into a a state of just no alertness at that time. Four days later, he said that she woke up, and she was alert, and she said, she, she spoke to the family who was there, and she looked out the window. She didn't look to the door. She looked out the window and says, I'm ready to go home. You know, and I thought, boy, I hear stories like that all the time. And uh, I just, I just, man, if you don't know Jesus, get to know him. And, yeah. and uh, I, I just, because you don't want to be on the other side and, and, and screaming because you're going the wrong direction. Right. But just know, just know Jesus. And uh, I'm just excited about the Lord and and. And, and new opportunities. I started a new opportunity yesterday, just selling mushrooms. But uh, it just came up out of the blue, so I'm look, excited about the opportunities. And and I told the it's actually a pastor friend owns owns the company. And and I told him, I said, you don't mind me out there just witnessing as I sell mushrooms. He says, not at all. So I, I look for the opportunities of all these people that come by, and uh, so pray for me as as that opportunity arises and comes Amen. comes up. So praise the Lord. Um, I just praise the Lord tonight for my salvation. I praise him for um, what he's done in our lives in the last 10 years. Um, he's just been merciful and kind. And um, you, just, you just realize how much his love is for you when, when you look back and you see all that he has done for you. So I just praise him tonight, and I thank him for, um, for all that he's done for us, for he's a great God. I just want to thank the Lord for everybody praying for me. Um, God is good, you know. Uh, just doing things and you, you just don't know, you know, what the problems are or whatever. The nice little pollen out there and all that, all the dust and mold and whatever too. And and uh, But I do, I want to thank the Lord. I'm feeling better tonight. You know, it's good to be in God's house. I want to thank him for saving my soul also, and and uh, just, uh, he does all things well. I thank the Lord for my salvation, and I thank him for Anchor Baptist Church, and he put, like I pray, and he put his name here. Been a lot of times when uh, uh, I've had people actually come up to me while I'm here at this church and say that he's here and wanted to have prayer with me out in the yard. That's how potent he is in, around this place. And We won't go no further than we go on our knees, and uh, the, the main thing today that was with me was... Uh, uh, he's not going to give you any more light if you don't use the light that you, he gives you. If you don't 
step into his appointments as Steve says he's not going to give you any more appointments uh, you've got to use what he gives you or he'll he'll take away from you he'll find somebody that he can use he'll find somebody else uh, as it's in the Bible don't as I don't forget who it is I'm not that good memory right now but uh, he he was complaining that he was the only Christian left and he said look Captain I got 144,000 of them that will bow a knee to me Elijah thank you and so uh, I thank the Lord uh, I was going to tell uh, I prayed we pray up here Saturday night I prayed for my uh, my niece and, and uh, prayed that I could see her and everything and she I was sitting on the porch on my rocking chair. I was rocking back and forth yesterday afternoon right before prayer, and she drove up. I serve a big God. That's an instant, instant answer prayer. I mean, you know, uh, like I say, walking is light. He'll give you more light. Thank you. Amen. Say amen to all that. Praise God. And I remember we got a big God. He's a, he's a, uh, God's always right on time. Thank God for uh, divine appointments and, and how God's working, like we talked about there with uh, uh, Brother Rich Peacock. Amen. Pray for him. Uh, seeing he's on a, a dialysis stuff. Uh, had a picture of him on Facebook there. So pray pray for him. He's a dynamite preacher, loves the Lord. And just pray for his family. And then uh, the family we met uh, there uh, at uh, Cracker Barrel, right? That's where we was, Alan Rondo's talking to his family and we walked in and I said there's our pastor so he got up and did some stuff started talking to us and so we thank the Lord for divine appointments and needs there so that are met by God so ask ask God to help us amen pray pray tonight for James Lane uh, not amen. feeling well amen. and I know I text didn't get a text back yet if they took him to the hospital or not so just pray pray for him amen pray for needs there pray for every need amen that's represented so pray God for that. So pray, pray. There's so many needs that are represented. We're praying for all your families, amen. So we thank God for that. And God is a God that answers prayer. And so keep looking up, keep trusting him, and keep on praying. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my salvation and another week that I get to be in his house, amen. And uh, this week I was uh, out in the yard trying to do work and it can't burn anything after May starts. So uh, I got off early that day, and I had a pile of brush I was trying to burn, and the rain clouds just come pouring in and drop temperature real low like it was just fixing to let off. I said, Lord, it would be nice if you just let me burn this pile so it's not sitting here for the rest of the year. And one drop hit my head, and the fire started. That burned up, and it still didn't rain. And I got the yard mowed, and it still didn't rain. I got all the yard work done and went in the house and then it rained. Amen. I serve a big God. Turn in your hymnals to 125, the solid rock. 125. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. When darkness fails his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. His oath, His covenant, His blood support me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul gives way, He then is all my hope and stay. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. When 
he shall come with trumpet sound. Oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Amen. Let's pray for Robert. Dear Heavenly Father, we do pray for Robert right now. We ask, Lord, you'd help him. And uh, Donna, we sure give you the praise for it. And all the others that are looking in need tonight, Lord, just meet those needs. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <clears throat> yes, pray, pray about that. Continue to pray for the little baby that uh, uh, June told us about. Uh, going to be born without a, a brain, and so just just pray about that, amen, we've been praying about that, so pray, pray, and I just thought of something else when I stepped up here and forgot it, so Lord, take care of whatever that is, amen. on? Is that your mic on? Yours. Okay. Blue and gray. I call it home. 
I'm just a little homesick. It's a place where I belong. That's why I call it home. I'm just a little Amen. That went right along with what I'm going to preach tonight. Lord, helping us. Amen. Thank God for he's our helper. Amen. Labor for the Lord. Amen. Labor. Amen. For the Lord. You should take your Bible tonight and turn to Ecclesiastics. Amen. Ecclesiastics in chapter 2. Ecclesiastics chapter 2. <clears throat> Have you ever labored in vain? You know, this week I was doing some chainsaw work and uh, burnt some stuff like Steve was talking about that. And the Lord blessed and it burnt and started real good and got that going. But uh, then I was going to cut some of the other stuff down and, and uh, got the chainsaw running, got some cut and it died. And uh, So I put that over on the fire and I got to try to start it again. It wouldn't start. It wouldn't start. And I finally got it going again after a long time. You know, I, I don't mind chainsaw work, but I hate chainsaws that don't work. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, it, 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 so I, I, so Jamie had a chainsaw, and it was newer. I mean, he said I could use that. So I went and got that, and I thought, this is good. I know he'd take care of his stuff. And I, that thing wouldn't start 
or anything. I got it started, and you had to uh, kick the chuck choke and run it like that, and I'm pulling anything, pulling a thing. Then I went back to the other chainsaw. Pulling. I'm getting tired just talking about this now, folks. Uh, and uh, it, it just, you know what I'm talking about, Randy. It, it kills you, amen. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd rather cut all day long than pull on that cord, amen. Uh, so uh, I had a, I had a, uh, uh, a newer chainsaw, amen, a steel. I love that steel, amen. You can, you can start that thing, and it'll sit there and just purr and run, and while you're working, you can still run. I just let it run, run the gas out of it once, put more gas in because I want to hear it run. I like it, amen. Uh, so, but I, I hesitated to go get that because I went over to Jerry's the other day to cut down a tree, and that thing would not hardly cut that tree down. I thought, man, that thing is doll or something. I, I got a new chain on it. Uh, but but uh, all that stuff, and there, there's more intense on pulling on them other two. I'm leaving out a lot. We'd be here all night. Uh, but but uh, uh, I got that thing started. I said, well, at least I can help it. Amen. At least it's in a run. And and uh, so I got that thing going, boy, and it was like sharp as butter. I don't know what happened. Amen. With the whole thing. But we cut down everything we needed to and let it run while I'm working. Amen. It kept running until I shut it off. I love chainsaws like that. Amen. Uh, but the first part, I was ready to. I was almost ready to go to the house. Say, forget this. I'm done out of energy. I'm I'm worn down. <laughs> it's not going to work. But when I got the other chainsaw, I said, Lord, help this chainsaw. Uh, I know it'll run. Uh, you helped it run. Uh, but help us to help me to get that cut down. I mean, it was just whoosh, whoosh, and just all that down. Amen. But it's terrible uh, to have uh, labor to labor in vain. Uh, but uh, spiritually speaking, that's worse, amen. So we're looking at some things here tonight on labor uh, about our lives, amen, uh, uh, vain labor to start with. So let's, let's stand for the reading of the Word of God uh, there in Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse number 18, and continuing there. Many things we read more in the chapter there. We can see it even uh, where he said in verse 1 of chapter 2, I said in my uh, mine heart, go to now, I will prove thee uh, with mirth, therefore uh, enjoy pleasure, and behold, this uh, also is vanity. Uh, people live for pleasure. Uh, it's vanity. Amen. It don't. It don't. It don't uh, uh, give lasting pleasure. Amen. But here we come down to verse number eighteen, where we're going to get to the message tonight and other places in the Bible. The Bible says this: uh, "Yea, I hated all my labor which I had taken under the sun, because I should leave it unto uh, the man that should be after me. And and who knoweth whether he shall be w uh, a wise man?" Are fool, lots of fools around, uh, yet shall uh, he uh, have rule over all my labor wherein I have labored uh, and where, wherein my, I have, have sh uh, showed myself wise under the sun. This is, is uh, uh, also vanity. Therefore I went uh, about uh, to, to uh, uh, cause my heart to despair uh, of, of all the labor uh, which I took under the sun. Uh, for there uh, is a man whose labor in, 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 uh, is in, in wisdom and in, in, in knowledge and in equality. Uh, yet uh, uh, to, a, to a man that hath not, not, not labor, therein uh, shall he leave, it, uh, leave for his uh, portion. Uh, this also is vanity and great evil. Uh, for, for what hath a man of all this labor uh, and, and of all the, the vexation uh, of his heart, uh, wherein he hath labored under the sun? Uh, for, for all the days uh, are sor sorrows uh, and are eternal grief, uh, yea, uh, his heart uh, taketh not rest in, in the night. This is also vanity." Uh, there, there is nothing better uh, for for a man that he uh, should should eat the, the, and and drink, uh, and and that he uh, should make his soul enjoy good in 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 his labor. Uh, this also I saw that it was from uh, the hand of God. Uh, for uh, who can eat, uh, or uh, or who else can and hasten hitherto uh, more than I? Uh, for God giveth a man uh, that is is. 
good in in his sight of wisdom and knowledge uh, and joy, but but to uh, the sin, sinner uh, he giveth travail uh, to to gather and heap uh, to g- gather and heap up uh, that that he may give uh, to to him that is good uh, before God. This this also is vanity and vestation of spirit. Let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer tonight, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask that you would help us tonight to not to be Christians laboring in vain, but, Lord, that we might put our trust in you. Lord, that we might lay up treasures in heaven. And, Lord, we ask that we be able to hear. Help us, Lord, to to look at the end of the story, Lord, that we may hear, well done, that good and faithful servant. And, Lord, that our time here on this earth might count for good in eternity. Lord, we're, we're thankful uh, for your lessons and truths in your word, and we ask now that you'd help us tonight for this little while. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You can be seated. Well, to God be the glory, amen. Uh, so uh, the chainsaw business most of the time can be laboring in vain, uh, but, but praise God, uh, uh, he's our help. Uh, he just pray, hey, amen. Uh, we had a, limp, a tree fall back here, and I took a, a chainsaw over there, the one that I couldn't get running again, uh, and, and cut uh, some of that down, and the chain came off, and I had to work on that thing. You spend more time. My brother told me something years ago, the one that led me to the Lord. Uh, my dad and I, he had a chainsaw, and uh, Lloyd took a, a saw, one of those saws. You know one of them saws? And uh, so uh, I'm, a, I'm a piping teenager at that time. Boy, I can do anything and, and kind of like this. And, and uh, so I had that chainsaw and uh, got it running a little bit. And, and my brother said, I can cut more wood with this saw than you can with that chainsaw. I said, you're on. He must have knew that thing didn't run. Hey, man, he beat me. <laughs> Uh, but but I thought about that all these years, amen. I was thinking about it while I was sitting there uh, licking my wounds when I couldn't get one running, amen, uh, that, that uh, if I had a saw, uh, brother, I could cut this down better, amen. But uh, anyway, God help me with it. Uh, but but uh, well, thank God, amen. Vain labor. Uh, take take your Bible uh, there. Hold your finger there and, and go back to the Psalms there, to uh, Psalms 127, Psalms 127, and, and look at uh, verse 1 and 2. We read the whole chapter there, just five verses, but verses one and two, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman uh, waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to set up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, uh, for so giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord. Uh, and, and the fruit of the, the womb is his reward. As, as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the, of the, of the youth. Uh, happy is the man that hath his quiver full uh, of them. They, they uh, shall uh, not be ashamed, but they shall speak uh, with the enemies in the gate. Amen. amen. So God's got a little thing there about raising children also. Amen. We're not laboring in vain. And just uh, stand your ground and, and uh, stick with the Bible. And do what God says. Live before him and, and be that uh, individual that God can use as parents. Amen. But, but as we see there, except the Lord build the house, they that labor, labor in vain. And so we're glad that the Lord is the one that's building the house, amen, uh, of the Lord, uh, of his, his church, and, and touching lives and divine appointments that we have and all that God's doing uh, in our hearts and our life uh, because it's a terrible thing uh, to labor in vain. It's a terrible thing to labor in vain, but it's a wonderful thing uh, to labor uh, for the Lord in his uh, precepts and see God do great and mighty things through you and despite you, amen, despite you, uh, your, your uh, ability, amen. Thank God that he's able, amen. So uh, thank God, thank God uh, for all that. Uh, so uh, we're thankful for, for helping us, amen. And so uh, vain labor, uh, ju- just to work uh, for, for this world is vain labor. Uh, you think there's a lot about the labor in the Bible and things uh, uh, that, that uh, profit if amen. As you hold your finger there, and we look at a few things here tonight. First Timothy in chapter 5. Uh, First Timothy in chapter 5. We see uh, this. 
over there that relates to vain labor, amen. Uh, and there in verse number eight, uh, many could quote it, but uh, hope you marked it in your Bible. But, uh, but, if, it, but, uh, but if any uh, provide not for his own, uh, and, and especially uh, for those of his own house, uh, he, he, that, he denieth the faith and is worse than an infidel. And so labor is important, and what we do uh, needs to be pleasing to God. Amen? So uh, we, we'll find also that the Bible tells us if you don't eat uh, you, or you don't work, you don't eat. And so that, that's, a, that's the thing there. People, we live in a generation uh, today uh, that they want the government to give them everything. They just want to sit back and wait for the check and gripe because the check didn't get there on time. Uh, but uh, that, listen, uh, we, we better give God thanks, amen, is what, what the Bible teaches us and uh, helping us, amen, to, uh, to stand true for the, the things of God. Second Thess- Thessalonians in chapter 3, verse number 10 is the verse I was talking about there. It says, for, uh, for, uh, for even uh, when, when we were with you, uh, this we commanded uh, you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Amen. Amen. So that's not just something people say. That's what God said about it. Amen. He, he doesn't like laziness. He doesn't like uh, uh, this welfare mentality uh, that we have in America today. Uh, we, don't, we're, we, we, we have a, a country because people knew how to labor and serve the Lord in bygone days, and God blessed their labor. Amen. Amen. So thank God for that. You can be blessed today if you allow the Lord to help you in, in these things. Uh, uh, you know, they, they uh, thought uh, the Lord uh, was coming there in that scripture there, so they thought, well, they're just going to oh, just sit back and just wait on the Lord. Now, that's not what God wants us to do. We keep on keeping on until the Lord comes. Uh, looking, laboring for him, amen, as we go forth uh, in this. Otherwise, it'll be vain labor, and we'll see what happens to that uh, when we get before the Lord. It's not just this life and it's over with. Uh, we're going to stand face to face with the Lord Jesus Christ one day, and, and our works are going to be tried, amen. So uh, understand that God has it all down in his book, and uh, he's given us uh, this uh, uh, truth that we might be uh, the people uh, that can hear, well done, thy good and faithful service when we stand before him, amen. And so we see vain labor. We don't want to stay with vain labor. We want to uh, get away from vain labor. We want to learn about what the Bible says about vain labor. We want to uh, do the opposite of it, amen. Get on the other side of that and just uh, go overboard with God. And the thing. You can't outdo God. You can't outgive God. Uh, God is in full control uh, today. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills and the hills also. And so he, he promised that his, his people will not go begging bread. Isn't that wonderful? Amen for that. Uh, but I'll tell you what, uh, he even the children of Israel had to go out and pick up the manna. Uh, they didn't just uh, sit there on the couch and, and, uh, and just appeared in the pot, amen. Uh, they had to go up and gather it, amen. Uh, so uh, that, that uh, God uh, taught uh, all through the scripture about uh, laboring and, and uh, good, honest labor and working uh, for the Lord, amen, uh, laying up treasures in heaven as we see. So uh, valuable labor is what we want to have. Uh, thank God for valuable labor, amen. Uh, what is a valuable labor. Valuable labor is labor uh, that God says is valuable. Amen. What pleases him? What pleases you? I know people talk about, boy, I want this, I want that. Uh, well, what does God want? What does God want in it? And how's, it, how's the scope of where he's got you in life uh, for that? You need not change his plan but stand with God. So uh, in, the, in, the, in the New Testament there, thank God for everlasting life. Amen. John chapter 6. Uh, thank God for everlasting life. Amen. That's valuable labor uh, that God has given us here. Uh, uh, that we're to go forth and occupy and keep going and moving forward as, as Randy said this morning. Amen. And there in, in uh, John chapter 6, uh, we look down there in verse number 27 uh, and, and read down through 29 there, uh, thinking about valuable labor tonight. And the Bible says this, labor not for the meat which perish. I mean, think about that. We had some uh, pork steak, wasn't it, Wabby? Pork steak. It was in the freezer. And it uh, looked like it was just on the edge whether it was good or not. Amen. She cooked it up, called me, and it came up there, and I said, man, that don't smell good. Hmm. I mean, ew. So we had to throw it out. It wasn't good. 
Amen. That's, that's the way it's with it. Amen. Think about that. Uh, so uh, it'll perish. <laughs> and labor not for the meat which, which perish, but uh, for the meat which endureth unto uh, ever, everlasting life, which the Son of Man uh, shall give unto you, for he, uh, for him uh, hath God uh, the Father uh, sealed. Uh, then said uh, they unto him, uh, What shall we do that we might work the work of God? That's a good question right there. Amen. What would you do to work the work of God? Jesus answered answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him uh, whom uh, he uh, has sent. And if you believe on him who has, he has sent, uh, then you will do what he said. See, and you'll, you'll allow him to lead you and direct you uh, in your everyday life. And so uh, there, this isn't just, well, we'll just serve God on Sunday and then uh, we'll see how it goes, uh, how I feel Monday. Amen. But if, you, if you're worried about the, how you feel Monday, you just listen in the workplace. You either go to the workplace uh, uh, now, not retired. Amen. Uh, that that uh, what they say, they say, don't they say this? Oh, it's Monday. What's wrong with you? It's Monday. <laughs> yeah, it's Monday. You don't want a car built on Monday or Friday. Uh, uh, it is Monday. Uh, so, uh, the, the, but labor for the Lord. Whatsoever the hand findeth to do, do with all the heart, with all the might and all the uh, heart. Amen. Uh, let, let God use you in the labor he's put before you uh, here on this earth. So thank God for all that he does. Labor not for the meat uh, which perisheth. Amen. That covers every situation, not just pork chops. Amen. Uh, but everything in this world, amen, that we think, boy, that'd be meat. I'd get some of that. I'd get some good uh, that in life, amen. But, well, uh, it's not going to last. It's all going to burn up as wood, hand, stubble uh, one day. So think about it tonight, amen. Valuable labor is pleasing to the Lord, amen. Uh, so uh, we think about that a little bit and we look on uh, in the scripture uh, with, with that tonight. Look look with me uh, to uh, let's look at uh, 1 Corinthians, amen. Uh, second, yeah, 1 Corinthians, and uh, chapter 15. First Corinthians in chapter 15. Uh, I mean, listen, are you glad that God loves you and saved you and doing great and mighty things, amen? There in, in First Corinthians, uh, we see in chapter 15, verse number 58, uh, the Bible says this, uh, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as he know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. There's a lot of things you wonder about. Well, is this going to work out? Is this labor going to be worth it? Is it going to count? Uh, amen. Well, let me tell you, the labor for the Lord will count for eternity. Lay it up in heaven, amen. Keep on and keep that in your mindset. Uh, what you do, whatsoever the hand finds to do, do it for all their might, amen. Whether therefore he eat or drink or whatsoever he do, do all to the glory of God. Do all to the glory of God, amen. First Corinthians, uh, I lost the address. Fifteen, ten, ten what? Ten thirty-one, amen. Yeah, that sounds right. Whether therefore, just sing it with me, amen. Whether therefore he eat or drink or whatsoever he do, do all to the glory of God, do all to the glory of God, amen. So remember that, whether therefore uh, you eat or drink, or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. You can't go wrong with that. Your labor won't be in vain if you do it all for God. Whether therefore you eat or drink, or whatsoever, everybody likes to eat and drink water, amen. Uh, but whatever, so whatever you do, the Bible says, do to the glory of God. And so we're thankful tonight uh, that God uh, has a program for us to labor in uh, for his honor and glory. Uh, he, he left us here for his honor and glory, amen, to, to continue on with the work, amen, uh, that he, he started when he was here on this earth, amen. Thank God uh, for that. And he, he's there to help us. The Holy Spirit of God lives within us. And so we go forth, and sometimes it looks like uh, it didn't count for much, amen. Uh, but then down the road a little while, we say, wow, look what that did. I didn't think that was much. 
But look how big God is. I mean, it's like the quilt thing that we talk about. If you look on the bottom of it, it looks a mess. But when you look from the top side, you see how big God is and outreaching he is. So thank God for all that. Amen. Uh, Brother Steve uh, Otega in, in the Philippines there, uh, my friend preacher, we preached in his church over there years ago. And, and uh, he had a, a uh, conference, a prayer conference. Amen. It went on. I don't know how long it went, but uh, they, uh, they, they said, we're praying for you, preacher, and your church also. Amen. Woo! That's good. Amen. We pray for them. They're praying for us. And, and uh, almost every week I get a text from him uh, about what God did. Shows pictures too. I'm a picture kind of guy. Amen. Uh, to see, see that thing. But I thank God uh, for, for what God does. Amen. When we labor for him. Amen. When we labor for him. You know, think about that. Lord will help us. When you don't have any, any, any uh, vittles, amen, uh, if you're laboring for him, God will help you. I learned that early on in the ministry uh, with, with our kids and stuff in Bible school. And uh, Bible school kids, uh, are, uh, I was a man then, but uh, have, have a hard time uh, sometimes in school and stuff. And, and boy, we got down where the, uh, where the beans met the, uh, the plate. Amen. Understand that. <laughs> I mean, it, it, matter of fact, it was worse than that. We didn't tell anybody. Uh, but but uh, we went to the cupboard, and the cupboard was bare. And uh, we just asked God for help. We didn't tell anybody about it, but God. We come out of church on a Sunday night uh, in our nine-passenger station wagon, and my oldest son ran up there uh, to, uh, to the thing, come running back down and said, Dad, Dad, our car's full of groceries. I said, glory to God. You sure you went to the right car? No, I didn't say that. Uh, but we got up there, and sure enough, full of groceries. I mean, we couldn't hardly get our kids in there. We had four kids in, right? Amen. I, I think, uh, amen. So we, we get, we're getting in there, and we got, got to the house uh, on Franklin Street, and pulled up there on the curve, amen, and, and the kids said, Dad, look! We had a front porch, amen, uh, that, that was uh, just the front part of it and the screen door, uh, and it was packed full of groceries uh, on the front porch. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. There was an envelope in, in, the, in the screen uh, there. Today you do that, somebody steal it. And it had $200 in it. I mean, we, I could have me a smell right now, amen. Uh, we got in the kitchen there. Uh, we didn't have enough room uh, to, to put it away. You remember that, amen? Well, I, mean, I wrote that in my Bible it was in case I forget. Uh, we didn't have enough room to put it away. Uh, why? Uh, because we kept on laboring for God, kept on being faithful for God. Amen. I seen Bible school uh, kids, amen, uh, that, that uh, didn't do very good because uh, they were slacking off in the labor department, amen, for God. Uh, and uh, some of them fell by the wayside. Uh, some of them not in the ministry today, amen, because uh, they just half heartlessly went. I remember one uh, old boy in, in uh, bus ministry, amen, uh, he was sitting there, Dr. Vogelin said to him, he said, uh, you, you uh, uh, his name's Curtis, amen, he said, you're slacking off. You got short timers disease. You know, what was that man? That means he's about ready to graduate, about ready to get out of there and go off. And so he was slacking off on the whole thing. Well, he's not in the ministry tonight. Think about that. Amen. Uh, but God is able, see. Uh, he can use us if we allow him to. Uh, right of great God we serve, amen. Uh, I mean, I don't care where you're at or what, you, what you're going, where your background is. I think about Tom first. He got to call uh, to preach when he was 40 years old, went off to Bible school, and he got there, and, and uh, he was an executive uh, in, in the, the hotel business and uh, flew different places across the country and the world, amen, and uh, had, a, had a, uh, the main office was in New York out there, and uh, he, he uh, uh, came home. Uh, he was in... Um, uh, in Chicago area, amen, when he was ministering there, and God called him to preach, and he came home and told his wife, he said, now, uh, God's called us to preach. I'm going to resign tomorrow. And they're like, oh, you know. And so that, that all sounds good. Went on. He was just, boy, well, and go on for God, amen. Uh, but he got there, and uh, his mama from California, or uh, where was she from? South Dakota, Washington State. That's right, Washington State. That's where he's from. Amen. Uh, sent him hot dogs in the mail. How about that? Amen. I don't know how that worked out good. And some other beans and stuff like that. Amen. I mean, listen, dried, wasn't it? Amen. 
Yeah, yeah, amen. And, and uh, so here he is. He's making all these uh, uh, thousands of dollars. And, and uh, I mean, he's a big up to up. I mean, the guy uh, said, listen, we, we, uh, uh, we, we, we don't want you to quit. We, we give you a raise. Now I'm going to serve God. And so he went off to serve God. And, and then he got on the railroad track in the middle of the night crying out to God because he didn't have any beans or anything to eat. And he said, God, did you call me out here to starve to death? I need you, God. I need you. He's, all that, amen, going on. And you know the devil always likes to rub it in. The principles of the word of God are true. He got a call. Uh, from the Twin Stadiums in, in Kansas City, Missouri. He said, we'd like you, we looked at your resume, we'd like you to come and manage the Twin uh, Stadiums out there. I went by it once, picked up a school, a, a church bus uh, and, and took it home, amen, uh, from out there. Uh, Truman Dower had it back then, amen. I don't know if you heard of him. Uh, and and uh, we uh, went back and seen, I seen him, amen. There was in him and stuff, but it was big. He said, we're going to give you X amount of dollars, we're going to give you this allowance, we're going to give you a car, we're going to give you all this stuff. And he had him in the middle of the thing when he didn't have anything. But he said, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stay with God. And God blessed it. So thank God. Listen, laboring for the Lord will not be in vain. Souls being saved. The Bible says, bringing her she's with them as we go to the other side there. So labor, amen, true labor, uh, for, for valuable labor, amen, uh, that we see there. As we see in verse number uh, 58 says, therefore, uh, my beloved brethren, uh, be steadfast, unmovable, no matter what, no matter what uh, the devil offers you, what charity puts out in front of you. Uh, wife says, uh, says to you, well, everybody else doing better than I am, uh, all this kind of stuff, just believe God, just serve him, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as he know that you're your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And so we see uh, tonight uh, that vain labor, it won't get you anything. You lose everything. Amen. Thank God for, that God's able to help us. Amen. If we, to get out of that vain labor, we put it uh, in focus with uh, valuable labor that is anything to do with the Lord's work. Amen. Then we'll have victorious labor. Amen. As you think about it tonight. Amen. Victorious. I mean, victory in Jesus. One of my favorite songs. Amen. Victory Victorious labor back back um, uh, there in uh, Matthew. Amen. I'm having a time tonight. Matthew chapter six, and look down there to verse number nineteen. Uh, there's some serious thoughts we think about the victorious labor. Amen. Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth. <laughs> think about that. What are we going to call that? Vain labor. Amen. Uh, on earth. Well, I got more than anybody else. I'm doing good. I'm just very good. Uh, the rich man in hell didn't think it was good after he got to the other side. It says, Lay not for yourselves treasure uh, upon the earth uh, where moths and rust doth corrupt and where uh, thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven. Uh, where, where neither moth nor rust uh, doeth corrupt, and where, where uh, uh, thieves do not break through uh, nor steal. Uh, for where your treasure is, hmm? think about this point, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I mean, do you have a heart for God tonight? Is his ministry important to you? Uh, the, the divine appointments that God has for you, is it, is it uh, uh, touch your heart? Are you happy about it, amen? Or are you uh, saying, well, let somebody else do it, amen? I'm too busy. Uh, well, what are you busy in, in vain labor? Or are you in the labor of the Lord, amen? I'm telling you, listen, let God have his way in your heart and your life. Uh, back in Revelation, uh, Revelation chapter 14, amen, Revelation chapter 14. Uh, we're, we're thankful that God covers it from, uh, from cover to cover, amen. Uh, what we need to do on this, we need to be busy for God uh, and allow him uh, to, to have his way and uh, will in our hearts and our life. In Revelation, uh, there we see this in chapter 14, verse number 13, uh, the Bible says this, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, right, blessed are the dead uh, which die in the Lord, from henceforth, uh, he saith, uh, from, yea, from henceforth, uh, uh, yea, uh, saith the Spirit, uh, that they, they may rest from their labor, and their works do follow them. There's a rest to God's labor. 
When the last uh, bell's rung, amen, when it's all said and done, uh, at the end of the road, amen, at the end of the track, uh, when we go off to glory, amen, uh, seeing face to face, I mean, there's an end to it, there's a rest to our labor, but our, la our labor follows us as we think about it uh, tonight, amen, as it says there. Now look look uh, with that uh, as we look on here to 1 Corinthians, as we mentioned already uh, tonight, 1 Corinthians in chapter 3 uh, tonight. 1 Corinthians in chapter 3. And 1 Corinthians in chapter 3 and verses 15 uh, through 16 there tonight. I I'm glad that God has it all covered. Amen. What a great God uh, that we serve there uh, here on this earth. Thank God. Thank God uh, for it. Amen. Uh, let, let, me, let, me, uh, let, me, let me start back uh, a little bit there in verse number 9. Amen. Uh, a little bit here. Amen. See, see this. Uh, it says, for we we, for we are laborers together with God. Woo! That's good. Who are you laboring with? God. <laughs> amen. <laughs> that illustration I like, I use every once in a while in a message that fits in, amen, is this. Uh, the, the old elephant and the chicken crossed the wooden bridge. Uh, amen. Uh, they got the other same that thing. Just, you ever go across the old wooden bridge? He goes, click, 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 click. I used to like that in my 65 Chevy. Amen. My best friend lived up a gravel road and had a wooden bridge there. I like to go over that wooden bridge. <laughs> you hear that? Amen. I like to ride my motorcycle over. <laughs> like that. Amen. And that man, that thing is shaped. Uh, and, and the old elephant uh, uh, and, the, and the chicken went across that bridge. And, and the chicken said, Boy, we sure shook that, didn't we, big boy? <laughs> the chicken didn't shake it. Amen, they often did. Our labor is not in vain in the Lord. His ability. Uh, uh, there's no ability greater than his. Thank God. He, he knows we're just dust, uh, but, but he uh, likes to come along with him, amen, and work through us. We're here uh, for his, his uh, uh, honor and glory. Thank God. Thank God tonight for it, amen. I'm, I'm glad for a God that loves me, amen. It says, for we labor together with God. Ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building. According, uh, uh, according to the grace of God, which is, is given unto, unto me, a wise uh, master builder, uh, I, I have laid the foundation and another other buildeth thereon. Uh, but let, let every man take heed uh, how, how he buildeth there, thereupon. Uh, for other foundation can no man lay uh, than that is laid, uh, which is, is Jesus Christ. Amen. There, that's one name given unto him whereby you must be saved. Uh, now, if, if, now if any man build uh, upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, or stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. It's going to be seen. Amen. What you labor for. For the day shall declare it uh, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Think about this now. If any man's work abide uh, which, which he hath built thereupon, uh, he shall receive a reward. Do you want a reward? God wants to reward you. If any man's work uh, shall be uh, burned, uh, it, it, uh, he, he shall suffer loss. Uh, so uh, you, you can lose some stuff, amen, some rewards. Think about that. Uh, but, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. You're going to be ashamed. The Bible says in another place, a, a slothful servant, amen. Uh, so so uh, I don't want to be a slothful servant. I want to be a servant that God says, well done, the good and faithful servant. Verse number 16 says, uh, know, know ye not that, that ye are uh, the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God dwelleth in you. What are you taking, amen? What do you do? Uh, you you wasting it uh, in vain labor? Are you laboring for the Lord? Whether therefore we eat or drink or whatsoever we do, do all to the glory of God. Do all to the glory of God. Don't forget that little jingle, amen, that verse. That's powerful uh, there that you will realize, amen, that that little song come in your mind, the verse of a Bible, amen. Many song, verses have been put to song, amen, in bygone days, and, and we've done forgot about them, amen. Put them off to the side. And so we want to have victorious labor, amen, to keep on going. Rest is coming, as we've seen there in Revelation, amen. Uh, we're going to stand before God one day, and, and uh, it's going to burn up as wood, hay, and stubble, or, or it's going to be something that God can be proud of, and, and uh, we'll, we'll get a reward, amen, for it, and it'll glorify God. Uh, so uh, thank God. It's like Stephen was talking about uh, kids that when, when they mind, uh, he, he's all happy about it. When they're not so much, amen, it's, it's they're not, they're not to make you happy. 
uh, but, but uh, thank God uh, that God said, hey, I want to reward you. I want to bless you. I want, I want to say, uh, that's a good boy, amen. Uh, that, that, that wonderful, my dog loves that, amen, uh, when he goes chasing the squirrels out of the, uh, out of the bird feeder. Amen, I'll tell you there, we, that's a funny thing to watch sometimes. I got it down low. Uh, I need to put it up higher, but I didn't have time to put it where I need to put it. And uh, it, it, it's where I hit my head on it, it's so low. Uh, so, but uh, uh, the, the squirrels are taking over. They come up on the porch, they go down the side of the porch, and they crawl out on this silver pole, amen, they get on the side of that, and the four of them at one time get out there on that thing, and, and Brenner like looking out the window at him, and, and he'll run out and go after him, amen. He's running in the banister uh, uh, there, right there where the bird feeder is. The banister's right here. He's running down to get him, they're running beside him there, had to jump off and get to the tree. He's saying, I say, you silly dog, amen. And he goes down there, and boy, he just gives them the dickens when they jump into the tree. And he comes back up and he says, all right, how about my treat? <laughs> yeah. I said, that's a good boy. Yes. I mean, sometimes I give him a real treat. Uh, but he likes a good boy too. Amen. I mean, that's good. Amen. I mean, thank God for that. Do you, what do you like? Do you, wanna, do you want, thinking about this now, my dog is disappointed when I'm disappointed in him. Did I say that right? Yeah. When, when he doesn't please me, it, it, it bothers him. I mean, he'll do all kinds of tricks. He'll roll over. He'll whine. He'll roll, 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 roll. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, you know. Uh, but, but when you're happy, he's happy. But when, you make him, when he makes you sad, then he's sad. He gets so sad sometimes, he'd, he'd just hang his head down. He'd go dragging off, amen, uh, like that. We used to have, when we had to put him in a crate uh, at, the, at the house there, uh, when it was a bad boy and tear up the pillows or take up stuff, amen, uh, that, uh, that we didn't want to mess up, uh, he, he'd just uh, have the gate open, amen. He'd just, he, his bad dog, he'd just crawl over in there, you know, and he, he'd get upset and turn his head the other way. He didn't want to look at your sad face about it, amen. Now listen, the Lord wants you to be that one that can hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. It make you happy, it's going to make him happy. It doesn't make him happy for your works to burn up, for you to lose reward. It makes him happy to please him. And so let's, let's go forth pleasing him, amen. And so let's have that victorious labor, amen, and allow God uh, to work in our hearts and our lives. So uh, we're thankful for all that God does for us. Uh, uh, so uh, every man's work shall be made manifest, amen. Uh, so don't, don't, don't forget it. Uh, believe the truth of the word of God and what he said uh, about all that, amen. Thank God uh, for it. So back over in Matthew in chapter 11, we'll be done. Matthew chapter 11. And uh, look down there in that chapter to verse number 20, 28. Amen. Do you have vain labor, valuable labor, Christian labor, amen, what God has for you. Victorious labor, amen, when you get to the end of the road, you're victorious. Or listen to what the Bible says here. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There's times at the end of the day, <laughs> hey amen, uh, we, we, we have, need that rest, don't we? And at the end of life, amen, thank God for that rest. Now, look at this. It's talking about in the here and now. Uh, he said, said this in verse 28 again, uh, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. Amen. When you do right, it's a good feeling. Amen. I don't like the word feeling, but it's a good uh, 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 result to it at the end of the day. Amen. That you know that you please God. That you know uh, that, that you did what he told you to do. Everybody else said, ah, oh, you're crazy, you're dumb, but you didn't do that. <laughs> you're crazy, you're not going to have any fun in this world, amen. I remember as a youngster getting saved, amen, and, and living in, in uh, some of that group that I told you about this morning there. I said, oh, come up, live a little bit. He's all right, he's all right. Uh, well, it's all right, it's not against God. Okay, I understand that. But uh, he said, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 
Sometimes, folks, our burden can get so heavy. But here the Lord says, Come unto me, all the labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God can take care of that. Amen. Waiting to hear about the phone call and waiting to hear about all the situation uh, in your all lives. Amen. And, and everybody here has got something, amen, that we're praying about. God's working and, and helping us. Look at Brother Fredo's here tonight. Praise God. Amen. That's wonderful. Amen. Our labor is not in vain. Our prayer labor, our work labor, our everything that God does, he is very present, help in the time of trouble. Aren't you glad about that? Amen. You have an opportunity tonight to think about it as Grace comes to the altar tonight just for a little bit. Hear me now, comes to the piano, and uh, we have the altar call tonight. What a great God we serve tonight, amen, as we think about all the way from uh, the, through the Bible, amen. Ecclesiastes, we talked about there, or talked about uh, the, uh, what, what uh, uh, Solomon said about that, amen, and what God's doing valuable labor is what we want there so we can have victorious labor. Amen. Is your burden heavy tonight? No one looking around with an uplifted hand. You say, preacher, will you pray for me? I've got a burden. Amen. Yes. Glory. All through the house, burdens are there. And we'll pray. God is a prayer answering God. I believe that with all my heart tonight know that to be true and we've seen it over and over again we'll close tonight in a word of prayer if you're looking in on live stream god reaches out to you tonight hey let us know about it amen god god's good we have people watching we don't even know we're watching we have divine appointments with them in in places in town thank god thank god how big a god do you serve tonight amen let's pray dear heavenly father we're thankful tonight that you're a prayer answering god we're thankful that you said, call on me and I'll answer thee and show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. We ask tonight, Lord, that you would uh, meet the needs of these uh, 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 burdens that are, that are lifted up there by uplifted hand. Almost everybody in the, in the place tonight, Lord, to have a burden of some sort or another. Uh, we ask, Lord, that you would help us to take your word on what you said. Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Thank you, Lord, for the rest that you can give. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity we can be in your house tonight. Thank you, Lord, for giving us help and strength uh, to preach tonight and, and this morning, Lord. We're thankful for all the benefits that you bestow upon us now. Help us, Lord, not to forget uh, as we go out Monday and the world uh, uh, says, what are you smiling about because it's Monday, Lord? We're, we ask, Lord, for help from on high. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you and thank you for coming tonight.